We're going to go now to Chris Keating, who is also in Nescapec and spoke with family members of the victims today. He's live from the scene for us tonight. Chris. Yes, yeah, Stacy. Earlier we stopped by the Nescapec Volunteer Fire Station, and that's where family members were gathering. There we found a firefighter who said he had children and grandchildren inside the home, and he says they all they are all currently missing. That I couldn't get in there to save them. That's my biggest thing that's been on me. I couldn't get in there to save them. Harold Baker is a firefighter with Nescapic Volunteer Fire Company. He tells Newswatch 16 that he was one of the first people on scene when flames broke out at this home along 1st Street in Nescapec. When we came pulled up, the whole place was fully involved. We tried to get to try to get into them. There wasn't no way we could get into into them. Baker also happens to have family ties to all 14 people who were staying in the home last night. He says he has not seen or heard from 10 of those family members. I also lost my son, my daughter, my grandson, two other grandkids that it's in there, my father-in-law and my brother-in-law, all lost, in, and my sister-in-law, all lost. According to Baker, there were also 13 dogs in the home. He says not everybody was living there. Several people were just visiting family. The kids that are there and my, my two kids, they were just visiting their aunt and uncle. And that's the one that owns, well, we're buying the house. And they were there visiting into the pool and all that. And the Red Cross was here earlier today providing counseling services to the family. And if you want to support the family, the best thing you can do is reach out to the volunteer fire company here in Nescapec. Chris Keating, Newswatch 16, live in Luzerne County.